Hello, welcome to Ekidel, where we train for just civil and structural engineers. Uh, my name is Fashe Ochet. Today, what do we have uh, to discuss about? Uh, you know, at times, the architects normally give us some, you know, kind of drawing that you'll be wondering how to go about it. Looking at this, today we want to talk about the structures having different levels of foundations. So if you now look at this one, if I can see that the level of this one, if you, can, if you look at it very well, you will notice that the level of uh, this particular place is different from this place. It's okay, from here we have what? Uh, G plus 2, while from here we only have G plus 1. Isn't it? Which means that the foundation at this level is different from foundation at this level. Even though it's going to be the same part, part foundation, but the levels differs, isn't it? These are kind of structure that normally you know happen when we are having a sloppy environment. Is okay where the terrain, the topography of that place is what is somehow sloppy. Is okay. How do you go about it? Is okay. So that is when we normally have this kind of uh, structures. Is okay. So that is fine. But before we proceed, I want to say that before you forget, rather before you forget, I want to say quickly click on like button because in the course of watching this video, you might be carried away and then forget to do what to click on the like button or subscribe in case this is your first time. Is okay. Uh, that is fine. And also because of the request that we have been receiving, so we have what we call a master class. Is that okay, we have what we call a master class, and in this master class, you do need to it's different from mentorship. Is that okay, it's different from a mentorship because in mentorship, we carry you from the beginning to the end when it comes to structure. But when it comes to master, master class, you only maybe you have known how to design, but it's just only one aspect you want to learn or you want to know. Understand that's when you be enrolled for what for this uh, master class. And this master class, for example, you have known how to design, you have known a lot of things, but this aspect of a for example, pile you want to learn about only pile. That's what where master class comes in. Or you want to learn uh, what you call it a uh, flash lab, you know, the design of flash lab, and also you want to learn, uh, let's say, um, math raft. Only those aspects, any particular aspect that you want to learn about, that's where master class comes in. Is that okay? So, which is different from a uh, um, mentorship. Is that okay? So, that is that mentorship will carry you from the beginning to the end. But master class, as I've said, you only want to learn one aspect or two aspects of design. Is that okay? Or you want to learn about earthquake. Is that okay, so that's where master class comes in. Is that okay, that's fine. As like I said, don't forget to click on what on like button because the more they like, the more YouTube make this video viral for so many people who are looking for how to design this kind of a to have a foundation for this kind of a structure. Is that okay, uh, that is fine. So, therefore, let's now go there and see how this can be done. Is that okay, so that is fine. All right, well, welcome back. So, let's uh, proceed. Okay, so now, first of all, the first thing I want you to take note of is that uh, if you look at this uh, column, you discover that there's this uh, moment around. Can you see it now? As I'm touching it, can you see it here? And also, if you look at each of the columns here, they are having a moment uh, sign. Is that okay? It has a moment sign. That's the first thing I want to take note of this. Oh, sorry, I want you to take note of. Is that okay? So I'm trying to zoom it. Is that okay? Minimize it. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, as you can see this one also. Can you see this one? Can you also see this one? You can see that each of those columns are having what moment. But if you now look at this place here, if you now look at this place, they don't have that uh, moment uh, sign. Is that okay? So how do you now create that? Is that okay? That is one. And second day, let's look at the foundation. Okay, as I click on this, let me go to foundation story zero. So the zero can you see now this place we have what we have the part in sector isn't it but if you now look at this area there's no you don't we don't have columns isn't it we don't have a uh, columns is that okay so how do you now uh, bring them up is that okay let's now go there is that okay so now let me go back to 3d view is that okay that's fine so the first thing to do the first thing to do now is is to come to this place i'm coming to come to this place called modeling is that okay and you come to what to support is that okay you come to support click on support now these at this point here is that okay at this point here these are different type of a uh, support that we have is that okay so i will going to leave it on this is that okay so now i'll come to plus is that okay which is to add my own support now this support now depends on you whatever name you want to write you want to put you can put either is put support a or just put a or just put foundation is that okay so whichever one you want to do i mean for me i'll just leave it and put what um support a is that okay i'll leave it as support a i'll click on what on okay since i've created that i will now click on what on okay leave everything as this now once i've done that i've created that so the next now come to my column is that okay i'll come to my column is that okay i'll come to this place let me start from here right click and come to what property 
Then from the property, I'll come to my 3D. From this 3D, you can see support type is on it's on default. So I'll come to this place. The one I have created is what support A. I'll click on it and then come to this place. Update. Can you see it now? That the moment now can I see that they are having the same kind of moment? Can you see it now? And also, sorry, can you see it here? And also, if I look at it, can you see it? We are having them both of them. So that is that. So the next thing now, I'll now click on this. Let me do this one again. I'll come to this place, click and also come to this place and also come to this place and click on support which i've created update and click on close and also come to this place here right click and also come to this place and also come to 3d then come to this place and then click and click on what's on update is that okay that is fine so as you can see we have done three isn't it so the rest let's see how fast we can do it together let me see it should be select we can select it is that okay we can select it let's see select this ones okay let me press my control key and select this okay what about this one i can select this also okay then i can now right click then go to property a dialog box you can you see now so under support type i will now come to this place and begin to change to my own support is that okay so let me change them to my own support is that okay so let me just pause this video to in order to reduce the the length of the video or let's just continue let's continue let's do it together okay okay and also come to this place like this okay and finally on this is that okay that's fine so i'll now click on what on close let's see can you see automatically many of them have got have been done so which other ones again okay we have this one here this one press my control key and this one then this one also let me see if i can rotate okay which other one again none is that okay they can now right click again then property then at the support i'll come to this place now okay then this one again support a and this one again and support this then click somewhere else and close is that okay i think we all have them having their moment is that okay so let's now go check our foundation and see if those columns will appear can you now see now we have all the columns can you see it now can you see it this is fine is that okay so now that we have done this one like this the next thing now is to see how we can now insert our pad is that okay since it has appeared so this is how to go about it first of all this is the first stage is that okay to do now after that we can now enter into what into inserting our pad is that okay so that is fine so let's now come back to foundation let's come back to foundation click on this is that okay and also on this then okay, let me say let me click on this one first is that okay let me insert part insert part let's see let's wait for it to come up let's wait for it okay it's asking us to analyze first is that okay so let's analyze before we proceed is that okay so that is fine okay to reduce the length of this video so i will pause it is that okay okay so welcome back so let's now analyze we have finished analyzing so let's now see insert part is that okay oh sorry what did i click let's wait for it okay it has come up so now this one the depth can you see 400 so there is setting we're supposed to do understand the setting we're supposed to do before we because this is minimum if i try to reduce it it will not work is that okay to not work is that okay if i try to reduce it it will not work you still be going back to that 400 is that okay because that was set as minimum is that okay to set our own minimum the setting we need to do on that is that okay and that is it that is fine and also the bearing capacity when it comes to structure 2022 or 2024 it's advisable that you always put your soil bearing capacity first before you analyze your foundation if not there's no space for us here to put what our soil result in this place is that okay so you have to do that setting first is that okay so that is a uh, fine so let's just proceed let's concentrate on today's uh, video is that okay so that is that so let's now click on uh, okay let me check okay all right so i click on okay all right so let's see hope it's not going to overlap let's see if it's overlap overlapping then we have to combine it is that okay so let's see okay the same thing the same thing okay let's see okay they are not overlapping they are at each other's edge but let's just combine them is that okay let's use a combine is that okay let's combine then click on this shift uh, press my control key down click on this then right click and click on what insert combine part footing so let's wait for it to come up let's wait for it to come up okay once is by 1001 it's okay and let's see okay then this one also 
can be reduced to 400 let's say 400 is that okay and then let's now see how i can increase this it's feeling at what at punching yes share check is that okay punching so is that okay that means the depth of our is talking about the depth of our what um cover is that okay of our um base column base is that okay so below column base is talking about the depth it's not sufficient which is like this at 450 but let's see let's increase this let's increase this if it will work okay 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 so it starts to be depth let's go back okay it has increased one nine by one five let's see if we can reduce this okay one four okay one three it passes what about this one okay okay at 400 at 400 we can have what uh, one three by one nine is that okay which is still okay is that okay that's past the design okay very okay now so we can now click on okay for the combine can you see it now so that is a that so now let's so let's come to this place again this one definitely is going to be combined is that okay so right click and click on what insert uh combine footing let's see is that okay so let's see okay one nine by this okay the same thing here 500 by 1000 so let me count you just leave it is that okay so we can do the adjustment is that okay let's just concentrate on the video we have done a lot of videos on this so let's just concentrate on this is that okay on our purpose for today's video is that okay that is that we have seen i've reduced that one and adjusted that one so let's see is that okay let's see okay all right let's see this one also okay okay insert part yeah, this thing okay let's see combine let's see okay the same thing okay all right i'll click on okay also let's see let's see okay there's this space in between them okay which is okay and if i want to reduce it we can also go ahead and what and reduce it is that okay to create more space is that okay i can also come to this place come to property is that okay that place of uh, 1000 so i reduce to 1001 and then increase this one is that okay okay increase this one okay one eight and this it has passed it's okay one thousand one by one eight it's okay all right so that is that can you see now we have created space in between them can you see it now so that is that if not if they are overlapping it then means that we are going to have a combined footing for all of this and it's going to be large is that okay so but as it is it's better far better is that okay so that is fine so let's also proceed to this one also insert part is that okay now i'm going to reduce to reduce the length of this video we are going to reduce um pause this video is that okay i've told you the settings that need to be done here and because of this is that okay so that is a that is that so let's now click on uh, okay is that okay all right that's fine so i'm going to pause this video now to reduce the length of this video is that okay that's fine okay welcome back again so now let's do this one together is that okay let's do this one together okay i will now click on insert part again let's wait and see okay fine now there's something i want to explain here come to rebel you can now see can you see this place now that is why it's very important for you to do your settings first for your foundation if not this the based on what we are doing now is designed based on what diameter of 20 which is very very much is that okay very very large is that okay that's too much for this is that okay so which means that we need to reset this is that okay we need to reset this is that okay and choose the right uh you can see from this place can you see can you see 16 20 25 32 which is quite much so it's very important that once you start your foundation you come to this place and check and confirm this is that okay and confirm this for those who have not watched this video to this point now you can see they have mixed is that okay so that's why it's very important to watch the our video from beginning to the end because there are some things we'll be explaining along the line is that okay so that is fine is that okay so you have to do these settings that one we have done a lot of videos that we have done settings on our choice of uh, what uh, edit materials under edit materials that's where you do all of these things is that okay so that is uh, that is fine so i will now click on okay is that okay okay that is fine so now let's now check our 3d and see what we have can you now see it now can you see it you can now see what we have we have achieved the purpose can you see it now so we can now see that we have different levels now can you see this level here and this level here can you see it now so this is how to go about it is that okay so thank you very much like see you next time in our next video i want to say keep learning and keep enjoying yourself with ekidel is that okay thank you very much in case you have not clicked on like button or you have not clicked on subscribe button i want to say you should do so because the more the like 
of this video the more youtube make this video to go viral because there are a lot of people who are looking for means of learning this kind of a uh, structure because they have been waiting waiting but this is an opportunity for them you might not be producing video but by clicking on what on the like button you are also helping uh, others is that okay so we join hand together to do what to make this our um world a better place when it comes to engineering is that okay so th thank you very much and in case you don't know that we have a ecadel um Academic mentorship class. We have that one whereby we train one on one. Is that okay? We train one on one, and we also have a uh, academic master class. This master class has to do with maybe you don't want to learn everything, but you have known a lot. But there's this particular aspect of the design that you want to know. That's where the master class comes in. Is that okay? Master class is a place where you learn not everything, but only concentrate on a particular aspect. For example, you want to talk about uh, seismic design. That's all you want to learn. You don't need to go through all other ones, but you concentrate on what? On seismic design. Or you want to learn about how to design a pile foundation. You have known how to design a seismic design, which is an earthquake. Uh, but you, want, you don't know how to design for what you call it a pile. You can only register for that one. That's where the master class comes in. Is that okay? Based on a lot of requests. That is why we have come up with that master class. So anyone you want to learn, you don't want to learn all, but there's a particular aspect you want to learn. Why not? You can join our master class to learn that particular aspect is that okay so that is fine we also have a group whereby so many engineers globally have come together different countries you know come together to help each other to solve one uh, problem for example as i'm here if i face any challenge i can do what quickly ask them isn't it post it snap it post it to that uh, group and ask my question before you know it as many who are online we quickly what respond to help me solve the problem and those who will come online later will also share their own view from there you get to add more knowledge to yourself at the same time your problem is being solved is that okay so that is that so thank you very much once again till i see you next time i want to say bye and remain blessed